I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a technique of solving triangles using special angles. Now it is a suggestion that when you are doing this chapter 2 on radian measure, you may be required to solve the questions without calculator. So be prepared to use special triangles and answer the questions. For example, I have just modified this particular question from the book. So question number 16 has been modified and now the question is determine the exact length of BC and angle D given AC equals to CD equals to 5 cm. So it's the same diagram but the dimensions are slightly different. BC is what we need to find here now, right? In the book you wanted to find AB, right? So let me write that as Y. We are given 5 and 5 centimeters as the length of AC and CD instead of 8 and 8 centimeters. Now let's see how to solve such kind of question, which is kind of similar to the question 16 itself. Now angle D. We have a right triangle where two sides are equal, right? That means it's an isosceles triangle. One angle is pi by 2, the other will be adding to pi, pi by 2. So 2 will be pi by 2, 1 will be pi by 4, correct? So therefore straight we get angle D, right? So we have isosceles triangle. So this is our special triangle, which is, you can draw like this, 1, 1, square root of 2, right? So in this special triangle, you know, if one it's a, if it's an isosceles, the other two have to be pi by 4 each. So we know angle D is equal to pi by 4 since it's an isosceles right triangle. Perfect. Now, we have not really asked you what is AD, but that could also be a part, right? So let me add. Uh, what is AD, right? So length AD is how much? Now as you can see, if you compare with this 45, 45, 90 degrees, so pi by 4, pi by 4, 90 degrees, hypotenuse is square root 2 times the length of any side, right? So it is 5 square root 2. You see that? So you can find the side so easily. Now the other triangle given to us is basically this is pi by 6, this is 90, so the other has to be pi by 3, right? Some of these two should be pi by 2. So what we can do is we can sketch the other special triangle, which is 30, 60, 90, or in radians, we'll write this as pi by 3, pi by 6, and pi by 2, correct? So that is your special triangle, in which the ratios of the sides are 1 is to 2 is these two sides and square root 3 is the third side which is opposite pi by 3. Do you see? So if base, I mean the side adjacent to pi by 3 and pi by 2, that means if this side is 1, let us say, then the hypotenuse is 2 times. That is the relation, right? So, so y should be 2 times y. Right? So what I can do is, comparing with my triangle, I can say y equals to 2 times 5, right? which should be 10. And bc, which is opposite to pi by 3, should be square root 2 times the base. right? So that means this should be 5 square root 3. So just by comparing similar triangles, we can find the sides and solve the triangle so easily. Do you see? So now we get all the sides of the triangle and the angles also, correct? So that's the beauty of using special triangles. So now using special triangle, uh, which is pi by 3, pi by 6, pi by 2, right? That is 60, you could write 60, 30, 90 degrees triangle we can solve triangle ABC, right? So easily, ABC. And we can see that AB is equals to twice AC, right? Twice AC, which is two times five equals to 10. And BC is square root three times AC, right? 
which is 5 square 3 and all the units are in centimeters so just write centimeters for the units so like this you can very easily do the question right and of course you have an alternate method which we used earlier for solving question B the alternate method is always to use standard triangles you can say what is sine pi by 6 equals to that is equals to a positive over hypotenuse so so that is AC over AB so from here you can find what AB is right and you can use cos pi by 6 to find rather I should say once you have found this right or you could use tan pi by 6 let me write tan pi by 6 is better to use for x right so which is AC over BC so from there you know what BC is so BC will be equals to AC divided by tan pi by 6 and here tan pi by 6 is 1 over square root 3 and so you get the expected answer which we calculated just by using special triangles so in this video I think it helps you to understand and appreciate how using special triangle helps you to quickly get the answer for the solution thank you and all the best